Win as one. EA Sports, FIFA 21. Sponsors Saturday Social. Right, there is only one place to start. We do have a Man City and a Man United uh, guest on the show. And it is a huge game, isn't it? On Super Sunday. Can't wait for it. Um, so we're going to look ahead by it. And we're going to look at... Um, where this Manchester City team ranks in terms of the greatest teams from Manchester, because as Kieran alluded to there, Man City are on fire. Raheem Sterling tweeted this in the week. He's clearly very happy with the progress. There you go. Twitter Sports with 21 Ws representing the 21 consecutive wins for Manchester City. Raheem Sterling, it's a lot. So it, it got us thinking, uh, how good are this Man City team and where does it rank in terms of best ever Manchester teams? So just Manchester teams in the Premier League history. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at two of the best United sides in the Premier League. Man City side of the Premier League era and we're going to get the guests to ultimately decide who is the greatest ever team from Manchester. Joe, I'm looking forward to this. I think this will be quite a spicy debate, mate. Yeah, definitely. We've got in chronological order as well. So we're starting a while ago. We're starting with the 98-99 Manchester United side, better known as the treble winners, of course, managed by Sir Alex Ferguson, winning the Premier League, the FA Cup and the Champions League, the only English side in history to win all three of those in the same season. They did only take 79 points, though, in the Premier League. HP, I want to come to you on this side. Just how unreal was that 98-99 side for you? I think they were so good because the rest of the league that, that year was was very, very good. There were some good teams, uh, Arsenal, Chelsea, even Newcastle. There was a, it was a good, good uh, season uh, for teams. And we actually dominated that league. Um, dominated in Europe as well, dominated domestically as well. I think all around, we was just the best team in the UK and in Europe that, that whole year. Um, the players that we had there ended up being world-class players. Roy Keane... Paul Scholes, Yap Stam, David Beckham, Peter Schmeichel. I think the team was literally a star-studded team. Um, so for me, that was arguably one of the best ever teams that we've seen. Um, and for, for, for English teams to actually win the treble, it's never been done before. Um, so it says it all. I mean, we can, we can end it here if you want, but... If you want to keep on going. We'll keep going. We'll but, keep going. Um, but I did want to touch on yeah. I did want to touch on you you saying about how hard the treble is to win there. Kieran, obviously you've been trying to do it recently and potentially could do yeah. it this season. Do you think that the treble, because it's such an incredible accomplishment, stands that team apart? Uh no, because the I think the, the champion <laughs> the Champions League isn't I don't think that should be the barometer if it's like a better team than someone else. Because you would say that you're a City I, fan. No, but a lot of it is a lot it's of it is to clearly say luck. That. A lot of it is clearly luck in the Champions League because of the nature of the type of comp- knockout competition that is. Like you got your, uh, you want it in was it oh seven oh eight? Yeah. Like you want it on pens. Like you can't have you can't add that to don't like your thing. Don't disrespect the 708 team. Don't disrespect the 708 team. You're about John to come Terry on to that can't, as well. John Terry and Anelka can't take a penalty. That's why you <laughs> won that. So it's just and we just can't seem to kick a ball from two yards out, and that's just pure luck. Oh, wow. Let's right. right. come on to that team. Right. Let's come on pure to that luck team. to win the Champions League. Harry's face was a picture there, so I'm going to get Harry's thoughts in a minute. But we are going to bring it nicely on, as Kieran alluded to, this, the next United team, which we're looking at. And that is the 0708 team, as Kieran alluded to. Let's have a look at what they achieved. Once again, Sir Alex Ferguson had a, such a successful reign as Man United manager, didn't he? Won a host of trophies. But this season specifically won the Premier League and the Champions League. Uh, 87 points in the Premier League. That was part of a sequence of three consecutive Premier League titles. And Cristiano Ronaldo won the 2008 Ballon d'Or. Oh, they scored the most goals, conceded the fewest, won the most games. Harry, as a United fan, uh, where, where do you think this mm. team ranks with the treble winners? Obviously, they had an unbelievable squad, but they didn't win the FA Cup. So h- how do you mm. compare this team to the, the treble winners? I think it was the most exciting team out of all of the teams. I think when I watched that team, I was more excited. Um, we had Cristiano Ronaldo, Rooney in his prime, Tevez. Yeah. Again, all of these players were essentially in their prime. Uh, we had Ferdinand and Vidic, the best partnership for me in Premier League history. Um, and I think when you look at what we actually achieved as a team and, and the games that we won, the teams that we faced, it wasn't an easy way to, to do that. Um, so for yeah. me, there was the most exciting team. But collectively, for me, it will always be the treble because to actually do that in a long season and win all the trophies that are available to you is a very, very hard thing to do. And so for me, I always pick that one over them. But in terms of Ronaldo winning the Ballon d'Or at United, yeah. 42 goals I think he scored in that season was unreal. So arguably for me, it's got to be top three teams um, and we can advance it in there somewhere. 
Uh, and I got to get your thoughts I, on I, Kieran. What Kieran said about the uh, got to get your reply to what Kieran said about uh, winning the Champions League. It's lucky, and obviously City haven't done it. What was your reply to what Kieran said about the Champions League there? Because your face did light up when he said that. I don't listen to people that haven't done what we've done. It's like, <laughs> oh, what, what, what would I listen to that? You can't do what we've done. We've done it three times, in fact. Try to do it once at least, and then I'll listen to you. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, we got, I mean, you, well, yeah, but you you haven't got triple digits on the board ever, so okay, you haven't done that. Oh. Oh, I mean, we'll come on to no that team knows. in a second. Let's come on to this. Let's come on to the seventeen eighteen team in a second. But let's firstly come into Manchester City's first ever title win. That was two thousand and eleven twelve. An iconic side for many Manchester City fans under Mancini, of course. Um, Eighty nine points in the Premier League. Aguero, Golden Boot, Joe Hart, Golden Gloves. And of course, this was the side that beat Man United 6-1 Old Trafford. This was the Aguero moment. So, Kieran, is this like a, more of a cult team than necessarily your best team? Yeah, I definitely don't think it's our best team. I would still put it above, uh, what was it, the United 98 or treble or whatever. Yeah, purely the on the fact. What? Purely on the fact. Oh, purely winners. on the fact. Oh, people for, people forget about it. time. People forget about time. It was so long ago. And they just weren't athletes compared to today. So on that current basis, even a Crystal Palace team now would probably draw with that United team. Rubbish. Sick in it. I'm not, I just, oh, yeah, I'm not. Wow. Time. Harry, like, Harry, you know, Harry, there's Harry, years you in between that. There's 13 years in between that. People don't like have a pint after the game now. I'm, I'm, I'm just not having it I'm, at all. HP, I'll, <laughs> I'll let you respond. I'll let you respond, I'm gobsmacked. I'm gobsmacked. Because that, that City team, for me, was the beginning of the change in in, 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 the, in that football, for in English football anyway. Because City, we almost won that league as well. So they weren't that much of a great team because we was, what, one point away from them. So Goal difference. It, it, goal, was difference. A, it was a goal, goal difference, goal difference goal in fact. Yeah, so yeah. In, in, in terms of like, that for me was the beginning of Man City about their takeover. But I wouldn't say it's, it's nah, get out of there. The greatest moment of that season was Aguero scoring. So what, one, two seconds in the game? Come on, get out of there. Get out of get out of here. It's, it's getting fiery. Uh, finally, we've got to look, in the interest of fairness, we picked two Man United teams. We're going to pick two City teams. So we're going to look uh, the Man City team of 17-18. These were the famous Centurions. Uh, Kieran, we'll come to you in a minute, but this was, of course, Pep Guardiola, Premier League winners, first team ever to reach 100 points, which is still a Premier League winner, a uh, Premier League record, sorry. League Cup winners. This was the season where a lot of individual records within the Premier League were broken, like most points, uh, Premier League wins in a season, most goals in a season, best goal difference. It was hard to pick a Pep team, actually, because you also had domestic treble winners um, that season as well of 18-19, I believe, Kieran. So Pep Guardiola's era, that specific team we're looking at, the Centurions, is that the greatest Man City team you've seen in your lifetime, would you say? Yeah, easily. Yeah. I think oh, it's hard because if we keep going as we are this year, I would potentially put it this year because I think it's more impressive to be more defensively sound and continue to win games than it is to just score a bunch of goals. But you got 100 points. Which is and also in the last minute of that season as well, it was, I just think there's there's no way you could possibly say there's a team better than winning the most points. That doesn't make any oh. sense to me. They literally won the most Fair. points. They won the most games. Yeah, but you're saying about last minute. Man United won the Champions League by scoring two in the last minute, which obviously gave them yeah, the trouble. Yeah, but um, that one for also, me. Does, does it they matter did how many points? Five years ago, it's fine, but it was in it was in the nineties. I was three years old. A lot it's you're, making like it was, you're making out like it was in the 60s when people went for parts. It was in 99. The standard was still pretty good. They still Harry, did where it. Where do you stand on this? It's a good debate, though, because obviously they did it. That, that team was incredible. 100 points. Uh, amazing team to watch. But are you sort of on the. Does it matter how many points you win if it is just one trophy? The Trevor winners won three. Where do you stand on the trophies versus points debate? 100 points. You're not even unbeaten. So that, that you, you, you can't even chat to the Invincibles. Try oh, and win doesn't matter. League. An Italian team were unbeaten. Try and they finished twelfth. Go to Europe and hear. <laughs> like, I need you to hear that. When, when I hear that from Man City, then I can say, okay, whatever team that is, alongside with winning the Premier League and the FA Cup, <clears throat> that's not easy. That's why it hasn't been done because only selective teams can do that. I mean, I mean, sorry, only Manchester United can do that. So it's one of those things where we just have to select a ninety-nine team as the best team because we just have to be fair. All right. We agree? I feel like the, the Champions League is just a, it's just a terrible like 
barometer because Chelsea won it. Oh, and they were yeah, rubbish. It's the best competition in Europe. Wow. Yeah, Man yeah, City win wow. the Premier League. Yeah, Di Matteo oh, win. Here he how has he won it? If, if Man City win the Champions League, Kieran is going to lose his head. head. Yeah? So, <laughs> Kieran, don't celebrate when you win the Champions League then. I, won't, I will sit there patiently and just right, cry. Guys, we, we've yeah, got, well to, uh, well we've got to put time on the chat. It, it's very, very <laughs> I'm glad we put that as a topic. Uh, I'm neutral. I would go Trevor winners all day, just incidentally. But I really enjoyed that. Four top teams. 